Welcome everyone to episode 457 of the Daily Mother Swole. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Interesting, interesting turn of events, change of events. Here's the deal, peeps. I set up and I was like, I'm gonna go live. And I went right in front of the board and it felt all wrong. It felt 110% wrong. I just did not want to be in front of the whiteboard. It felt incorrect. Fuck it. Today is an open Q&A session. I had a topic, I had this, you know what? Everything felt, no. I want open q and I want to chill. I want to chill with all of you today. It's Sunday fun day. But first off, welcome everyone to episode 457, 57 of the Daily Mother Swole, the most muscular swole cast in the realm because when I flex, you flex, we all drink coffee, make sick fucking gains, and get absolutely pumped on camera. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Every day at 12 noon Eastern time, watch it here on Facebook, watch it on YouTube, and listen to the podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes. Of course, you could bang your ear holes, all that good shit. Today is Sunday. Today's 4.57. And it's absolutely free for all. You know what? Open topic, open floor. Let's fucking hang out for a while. Let's get to know each other a little bit. Let's flex at will. So if you're watching right now, hold on. I'll tell you some good things, some big updates coming for, um, some big updates coming for Swole Normus. I'm not going to announce it publicly yet. Um, my premium group and everything, and everyone will know first, but been working hard on a couple things behind this, okay. huge behind this, huge, 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 huge. So I've been putting a lot of effort on that front. Let's see, big workshop coming up on Thursday, the shoulder workshop, which is going to be huge, literally and figuratively, it's going to be massive. What's going on, Jeremy? So very excited for the new updates coming for Swole Normus. A couple other things that I haven't made announcements for uh, yet at this point, people that are, anyone that's interested in my 90 day dash program, the introductory special offer is ending in about 10 days. You should be getting an email about that and you'll hear me talk more about that. Uh, so the special offer for the community is ending in 10 days. So if anyone's interested in that, you can uh, check out program.swolenormous.com for the 90 day dash, but you'll get more information. I'm just thinking about stuff. I'm just, I'm just spitballing. And yeah, shoulder workshop, huge, huge, uh, huge new announcement that's coming really soon, coming really soon. So yeah, today's a, today's a good day. Today's a good day. Tomorrow's my birthday. Huh? Papa Swolio's birthday. I wasn't going to say anything because I don't really do anything for it, but tomorrow, tomorrow the gains are getting one year more mature and tonight's Game of Thrones. The, the, today's a good day. Today's a good day. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of today. I'm, t I'm a fan of Sunday. So love all the support over on Instagram. Just posted yesterday a, um, a new caption contest. I don't know if you guys are getting all up into those caption contests because I know your names here uh, differ from Instagram. So uh, make sure that you, if you're not following me on Instagram, at Swanormous, follow me on Instagram because I do a ton for Instagram stories and also for the, uh, for the feed. And um, I do caption contests. So I do video shout outs, the weirdest fucking video shout outs for uh, winners of the caption contest. So check out my latest post a good one thank you everyone thank you early early burp day it's early it's early for that so right now if you have questions we can go random questions we can just sit and talk have some coffee good sunday fun day <sighs> it just felt right today like literally i was you know at the phone up and the lights were on and i'm like i took off the marker and i looked at it, i'm like no no you got to go by instinct and you know, honestly the instinct and training with instinct is actually a huge part of like my exercise process. 
Like when I go to the gym, I'll know, okay, I'm doing legs today or I'm doing arms today. I'll, I'll know what body part I'm gonna train. I don't go to the gym and be like, I'm gonna do arms and then, oh shit, I'm gonna do legs. It never happens like that. I know what I'm gonna do when I go, but I don't know what exercises technically I'm gonna do. So I'll go and I'll warm up. I'll get, do my general warm up. I'll do my, get my heart rate up, get the blood flowing, get the sympathetic nervous system, you know, turning on and then I'll determine what exercise I'm actually gonna do because one of those, and the benefit of that is in case someone's in the squat rack, you know? I've seen people wait half an hour to start their leg workout because someone was using the squat rack. It's like, you can't depend on shit being there. You go and like, let's say you're expecting to use one machine. I'm gonna do cable crossovers to start for let's say chest. And you go there and it's broken. So then, you know, it throws off, you're like, don't allow yourself to get thrown off. I think that's why I do it. And there's no, there's nothing wrong with with whatever you start with or whatever you end up doing. It's correct. You know, I don't like, uh, I don't like uh, limiting myself to like, okay, you're planning these five things. Why? That's kind of arbitrary. You know, go to the gym and see what feels good. Well, that's weird. I mean. Yeah, I guess that depends on your job and stuff. Aren't you a nurse? Are you the one that's a nurse? We got a few nurses. Yeah, if you're gonna, well, I mean, that depends. I mean, I guess some people will go to the gym every day no matter what, and then it's like, what am I doing today? I go to the gym in a sequence. You know, I, and I, I, know, I, I, do, I do that too. I don't, I don't require myself to go to the gym every day. Like today, I'm actually debating it you know, I mean, Sunday's no reason to take a day off, but I've also done like four days in a row. So it's kind of like, you know, I kind of feel like, cool, I could do legs today. And then part of me is kind of like, yeah, but you could do yoga and chill and clean and get other stuff done and, and do work. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do, I'm not sure. Like, I don't like to waste a leg day in the sense that I don't think I'm emotionally there today to do a leg workout. Not sure I'm like really driven to crush legs. But I've been doing a lot of stabilization for legs. I haven't gone super, super heavy. Doing a lot of single leg stuff, a lot of glute stuff. Um, give my body a little break from like the compressive, like front squats and shit like that. I've been giving myself a little, a little, a little time off from that. Thumbs up, what's going on? Yeah, what's going on, whoa. I train late, so chances are that nobody's super setting on top of each other. Yeah, I don't wait for that shit. Yoga, I, I think, you know, we'll see. Maybe I'll do some stretching today. See if I can muster up the patience to do yoga today. We'll see. We'll see. So very casual right now on the daily. Activating, you gotta do isolation exercises. Isolation exercise that specifically target the muscle that you're trying to activate. Activate means turn on. Activate means create neuromuscular connection between the brain and the muscle. So activating a muscle does not mean that you're doing an exercise correctly either. You still have to integrate it properly and make sure that all, you have to make sure the form's correct, but a lot of times form can't be correct in an exercise because the right muscles aren't turning on. So you have to isolate them. You have to do corrective exercises and specific exercise in a certain way that's turning on specific muscles that you're trying to target. And that depends on the muscle, it depends on the exercise and all that. That's what I mean by activating. It's literally turning on, it's creating the coordination between your brain and a muscle that's not being fired because of bad habits, essentially. There's a workshop, on, there is a workshop on that in premium. Yeah, we did that, what, that's not last week, two weeks ago. Last week was core. The week before was corrective and there's gonna be more like there'll be more workshops like on similar topics just in more depth casual Sunday I you know what maybe this is gonna be a thing maybe a casual Sunday maybe Sunday is gonna be like Sunday Q&A you know where it's open forum where we just go on and you bring questions maybe that's what we'll do on the daily I mean it depends I mean I could do that any day but I just I, I felt it today I felt casual today so it's gonna be casual I just felt it I felt it and I, for a part of me was like, no, just freaking do it. I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna force anything. It just felt like this was what had to happen. Uh, 
are muscle knots from poor form or from overuse. It could be any number of things. A muscle knot could be physical, it could be like the things get stuck in there. You know, the whole idea, the reason that the whole idea with muscles is that you have an even pull around different parts of the joint. So every joint's gonna work differently and you have muscles that surround that area that need to be in even balance and even strength and even length and tension and so forth. So when there is, when there are issues, then things pull differently and the joints move improperly. So a knot can just be balled up muscle fibers. It could be, you know, fluid or byproducts stuck in there that kind of calcify and stuff like that. I mean, I don't, I mean, the exact science of a knot, you know, it's usually just balled up muscle and just tense muscle. Just need lengthening, hydration, proper nutrition, stretching, yoga, foam rolling. Balls deep all the time. A nice balance. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to chill a little bit more lately. I'm always doing stuff. I'm o I'm always doing something. Even if I go get some sun, I go out like and sit outside for. I'm always on the phone. I'm always doing stuff. Yeah, I felt I, I felt casual today. Probably bring it back. Workshop on nutrition. Done that. Done workshops on nutrition. You know what's so funny? how much everyone talks about nutrition. I really think the focus in this, in the industry, I really think everyone's focus is so off with nutrition. I still can't get over how much pressure everyone, how much everyone talks about nutrition. It's so simple. Come on, you guys don't know, I mean, come on, you guys don't know what to eat, really? You guys don't know like what food's good and what food's bad? I mean, what, what you know? Really, like think about it basic I'm not saying anyone's stupid I'm just saying I think the industry has programmed you to think it's complicated and people lose track of how easy it really is like you know you're trying to lose weight then you eat less and you can track and count it that's easy basic math calculator phone apps do it for you you just eat less you know how much when, how much then, that's the easy part. How much overweight, eat less, trying to gain, eat more. That's the simplest part, you know? More in depth on nutrition, pros and cons, when it comes, no supplements, you don't need supplements. Now we've done nutrition, I've talked so much about nutrition. Uh, it does, does take a little effort on everyone else's part from looking for all the episodes I've done. You know, additives, the only shopping in the produce, yeah, it's it's so easy. That's that's the hustle. That's the hustle. Well, that's where the industry makes the money is selling you nutrition products, is selling you supplements, and selling you these complicated, you know, eat this, cook this a certain way. Like, man, I mean, real food, real food. You know, I think it's also because each day there's a new diet and way of eating that's easy to get lost. Yes, mixed messages. Yes, about what's the best. Yes, and that's. That, all right, that and also, that what, uh, what Lauren said, John, John knows his shit. Supplements are great for, yes. Yeah. What Lauren said, uh, you guys can all scroll up, what Lauren Marie said about getting lost, confused, there's always something new. Um, that and, oh, I lost my train of thought. Yes, that and the fact that there's no such thing as the best. I get a lot of questions like that. I get a lot of, what's the best diet? What's the best food? What's the best exercise? There is none. There is no best. There's no best diet. The way I eat is not the best way to eat because it might not be the best for you. Like what I can eat and maintain my physique the way I do, like not a lot of people could eat the way I eat and train the way I train and you know, drink beers when I want to drink beer and then maintain like, you know, I kind of know, I know what I'm doing. I know what I want. I know how hard to push myself. I know what I need to do if I want to lean out extra, if I, what I can get away with, how much I care about getting away with. Like you have to learn those things, but what, what works for me isn't going to work for you necessarily. So there is no best, you know? So it's like, 
everyone has their own opinion and you'll know some people that eat garbage and they look a certain way and it depends on what the goal is, what the outcome is. Yeah, you have to do what works for you individually, but most people don't want to put the effort. They want someone to hold their hand and be like, yo, tell me what to eat. It's like, well, first off, all right, well, let, let's get into this more. Have you seen that new sweatshop beach body pro? Oh God. They, they, well, they come out with everything. They come out with something every, every month. They got to sell something to their coaches. That's why those multi-level marketing and beach body and herbal life. And that's why they come out with something every month or two because they need to keep the wheel going. That's all it is. And they're scrounging for the next thing, which is just regurgitating the old shit sweatshop or shift shop or whatever sweatshop fuck out of here trial and error yes how much cardio do you recommend only if you enjoy it I don't do cardio I don't promote cardio um yeah so when it comes to nutrition it's like what do what not to eat okay don't drink soda stay away from starches if you have a lot of issues like if you have a lot of issues with nutrition and dieting and you have a lot of allergies or a lot of problems losing weight and you've tried so many things you got to take things more seriously you got to get more specific you should do the elimination diet you should google my elimination diet episode and look up the elimination diet and go by that to the t if you really want to find out if you have a lot of allergies and intolerances most people don't know that aspect about nutrition but you cut out the processed stuff you cut out the sugar like, it's tiring just saying it, because you all know this. Cut out the sugar, stop eating things in boxes, stop drinking soda, stop eating candy, no donuts and desserts, no fruit juices, like, and then that, that's it, man, you just eat food. Vegetables, simple. What's the best vegetable? Best, just fucking eat vegetables. What's the best vegetable? What's the best, you know, lean protein? Start, eat fucking lean protein, it, it. Chicken, eat chicken. Steak, eat quality steak, I mean, no antibiotics, grass-fed, sure. I mean, is it expensive? Yeah, is it better? Probably, you know, who knows really. Like I literally, I'm a consumer like all of you. Like I go to the supermarket and it's honest, I go to the supermarket just like all of you go to the supermarket. You know, I'm susceptible to the same st type of, they say it's grass-fed and it's not really. And like, you know, I'm, I'm vulnerable to the same things that all of you are, but you have to make better decisions. Like there are good decisions and there are decisions that let me put this, let me, let me put this of a, um, there are decisions that are important, like choices, and there are ones that we break, and there are ones that we get paralyzed over that are not important. Like, should I eat this vegetable, organic or non-organic? It's like, a lot of people get crippled over that, rather than thinking about, you know, am I eating antibiotic chicken or grass-fed beef? Like, that's a more important distinction than you know, than organic and non-organic because the organic, it sounds like the organic vegetables and things would be better, but a lot of times those things are made or produced in China or other countries where organic has a much different meaning and it's not really cleaner or it's not really organic or it's not overseen by the same level of a corporation or the non-organic are still sprayed with chemicals and like, it just it doesn't mean that it's healthier. Yeah, grass-fed beef, it tastes completely different. Completely different. What do I think of milk products? They're terrible. You should not have any milk products. Absolutely garbage. Garbage. Killing, killing people. Literally, literally killing people. After eliminating sugar and milk, for the most part, candy, cake, soda, my skin and body feel, yeah, because you're not eating chemicals. That's not rocket science. That's why people worry so much about the details in nutrition, the details. Do I believe in cheat days? I believe in whatever makes you happy that you think you can get away with. If you're one of those people, Tony, that complains about not being able to lose weight, that's struggling, that's like, oh man, I wish I could have that, then no, I don't believe in cheat days for you. If you're fine, if you're lifting, like if it's me and I'm fucking lifting and tomorrow I wanna eat like a bowl of chicken wings, I'm gonna do that. But I'm not gonna be like, oh man, I can't get rid of like my stomach fat. I still have a little bit extra, and then I'm having cheat days. Like, shut the fuck up, you know. But if you're if you're fine with it, then do it. Just understand it's not helping you. Like, it's not gonna help you. A cheat day will never help you. It's gonna help you mentally. Oh, that's a fucking lazy excuse. That's a that's an excuse to eat crap. Everything in moderation. Every the, the saying everything in moderation is an excuse to be average. 
That's like someone's pass card to not put effort in. Everything in moderation. That's a lazy man's quote. I hate that fucking quote. I hate everything in moderation. I hate that shit. It's such a lazy excuse. Well, everything in moderation. So I can have a little garbage here. I could be a little lazy here. I don't work out too much. Everything in moderation. So you could be an average pussy. Cool. Keep it up. Everything in moderation. Now, you want anything to be excellent and excel, it's all in. Or just don't complain about it. But people, some people will say, you know, I really struggle with my diet. I'm, you know, I wish I could have abs. I wish I could do this. But then you're adding in cheat days. Like you have no, you have no room to complain. You should complain anyway. You shouldn't be complaining at all. Gucci Guzman? That's a cool name. She's trying to lose her weight. Well, stop trying and do it. Get on the pony. I do shout outs. You could donate to the Small Normous Fund. Send me a pack of bacon for a shout out. Milk has a ton of sugar, absolutely. Almond milk, eh. Almonds don't have tits. I don't know where they get this milk from. I don't know, I, almond milk, it's, almond milk, it's like, it's fake milk. You know, it's fake milk. You're grinding and like you're soaking. So they put other chemicals and stuff in that too. There's some almond milk that's better. And there's some that's probably shitty with like other chemicals and stuff like carrageenan and stuff that fucks your intestines up. Um, I don't do almond milk. I don't do any of that stuff. I, whatever. You got you to figure out what works best for you. What most of you don't realize is all the allergens and all the intolerances you have because you don't isolate the problems like you could be getting a lot of intestinal and things and inflammation from stuff you're eating every day and you don't realize it because your body's adapted you got it james gotta go balls deep balls fucking deep i love all this balls deep stuff everyone knows what to do just go and do it yep your form and exercise properly yeah i agree i agree sour gummies yes yes yeah, sour patch kids p.o box p.o box am i I think everyone knows what to do. Either you don't want to admit that you know what to do, or you just don't want to try and put the effort in. Like, you're never gonna find like the right diet. Like, I'm not gonna be able, I'm, I can't write you the perfect nutrition plan. That's why I don't touch detailed nutrition plans. I am coming out with content like recipes and things that I use, but aside from like, eat this, do this at this time, this at this time, come on, come on. That's just trial and error anyway. I don't care who does it. I don't care what coach or this, that, and the other and diet plan. It's all a shot in the dark until you start doing it and then you observe. And it's stuff you could do on your own. You know, you do it. You track it. You keep track. And then you see, oh, I need to do a little bit more. I'm seeing my progress after a month. Let me adjust these things. Like most people don't want to put effort in. I just don't like, I mean, when people are lazy, I don't appreciate laziness. I don't mind helping people that want to help themselves, but laziness? Nah, there's no fucking handouts in this world. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be ready to put in fucking work. I, I, I know how they make almonds. I'm just joking. What's a good amount of time to work out per day? That completely, that's completely subjective and depends. Depends on how many days a week you're working out. Depends on what your goal is. Depends on your experience. Half an hour to an hour and a half depends. Really depends. You shouldn't be working out for two hours if you're new to training because you're wasting your time. What do you eat for breakfast? Protein shakes, I don't do protein shakes. I don't think they're worth it. That's true, nothing's perfect. Nothing works unless you're gonna follow. What's your take on keto diet? It's fine. I think most people don't have the faintest idea of what the keto diet actually is and what it takes to get into the keto diet that it takes a few to several weeks that it's extremely low carb extremely like almost none and extremely low protein as well most people eat too much protein on a keto diet and most people do a certain thing and they don't even realize they don't know how to test themselves they don't do the proper testing to see if they're actually in ketosis but it takes a few weeks it takes a few weeks and most people quit before it gets really hard because they get flu-like symptoms because your body is starts freaking out over the new energy change. But ketosis is fine. If you want to lose a lot of weight, I wouldn't do ketosis if you're lifting heavy weights and stuff. That's not good for like a strength diet or anything. If you're 300 pounds, you're looking to lose a ton of weight. Low protein. Well, it has to be low protein because your body converts 
protein to sugar. So if you're doing low carb, but you're eating too much protein, your body can still be restricted into getting into ketosis because your body will continue to burn sugar because it produces it from protein, from amino acids. Gluconeogenesis, what up? Do you, always, do you believe the slower you do an exercise, like curls, helps you gain? No. Slower? You go too slow, you're not going enough with the resistance. Time under tension only gets you so far. Don't listen to people that say, hey, if you lift 10 pounds and you hold it and you do really slow, time under tension. Yeah, but you're still not getting the overload and the resistance. You can mix it up, but long term, you still need that balance between rep, like tempo, and resistance. You know, no one gets huge off like 10, 15, 20 pounds. And if you go super heavy, you can build strength, but you're not gonna necessarily get the same mass. So it's like mid-range. It's form. It's always control. Doesn't matter how slow or how fast it is. It's always control of the weight. I live in Florida. The industry has made everyone doubt the weight loss, made you believe it's difficult. Yeah, I don't think it's difficult. I'm not saying some people don't have a challenge more than others. I'm not saying genetics and hormones. There's always things that come up. I mean, everyone's different, but it's not complicated and it doesn't take supplements to lose weight. It doesn't take supplements to gain weight. It takes time, it takes energy, and it's hard to eat a lot of food to gain size. It's hard to bulk up. It's fucking hard. It's hard to get big because you gotta eat thousands of calories and train hard every day for years. That's not exciting. It's really hard to maintain. It's hard to eat a ton of food seven days a week for years, not months, for years, years, every day, whether you feel like it or not, whether you're training or not, whether you're happy or sad or glad or depressed, you're fucking eating big every day. How fun, is, I mean, how motivating is that? How easy does that sound? I'm not saying it's easy. I always tell people, is a big difference? I'm not saying it's easy. I'm saying it's simple because executing on it is different. Like it's, I don't think that's that, I don't think that's that difficult either, but it's a big, there's a big difference between easy and simple. There's not a lot of moving pieces. It's fucking this, but can you do that? That's why I always go after the mental aspect and the psychological approach with fitness and with training, because that plays more of a role than the actual physical actions because everyone gets, everyone can do it for a fucking week. Everyone gets motivated to lose weight for a day. But how do you feel seven weeks down the road when it's, you know, that's why New Year's resolutions don't work because everyone's fucking motivated. Everyone's on point with the New Year's resolution January 6th. Everyone's on point January 14th. But what about March 19th when no one gives a fuck about New Year's resolutions? When people start saying, stop saying Happy New Year, I fucking hate New Year. I hate resolutions, I hate that shit. Man-made for parties, for alcohol, to sell you shit. I just hate that whole time of year. I think I'm gonna do, you know, Swole Normous with the brand, the programs and stuff. I think it's gonna be, I'm gonna do New Year's resolutions. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna tell you what we're gonna do, but I'm starting the New Year's resolutions early. We're doing New Year's resolutions. We're doing New Year's resolutions before all the holidays. We're starting before Halloween. We're gonna start like mid-October. Or the, night, or the day of Halloween, maybe October 31st, that's New Year's, November 1st. You wanna get serious? Then you fucking get serious before the holidays and all that bullshit. Why you wait to deprave yourself and screw yourself up until after? So New Year's for Papa Swolio starts a lot earlier. It's all year round. Uh, creatine's one of the most studied supplements that works. Everyone, everyone responds differently to it. You don't need anything fancy though. Bum, bum, bum. I think that form is easier to achieve. Yes. Yeah. Lightening the weight and taking your time. How do you feel about CrossFit? I don't. I think it's reckless and dangerous and it's popular. It's given us a lot of equipment in the industry, but there's no science behind it. There's no logic behind it. I don't care what anyone says. Prove it. You can't be good at everything. Doing everything at high speeds and doing very technical moves at high rates of speed with short rest for time, always for personal records, is dangerous and reckless and gets a lot of people hurt. A lot of people hurt, especially people that don't know any better. Not to mention it's shotgunned and there's so much dilution because um, they certified everyone under the sun in two-day certifications for Olympic lifting, which is 
stupid and nauseating. The fact that it ever happened like that to begin with, um, I just don't have any respect for it, really. I'm not saying people aren't strong or that they're, you know, amazing athletes. I mean, I think there's big misconceptions that most of the people, if not all of them, you know, that perform at the high level in the CrossFit games and stuff are taking, you know, sup you know, they're taking steroids and they're taking anabolics and stuff. That's been proven. There's been experts that have, you know, said that they know for a fact because they coach them through steroid cycles. Like you don't lift that much and recover that quick, you know, naturally. Uh, whenever there's money, there's enhancements that people do to win. So there's a big misconception that it's all like, oh, you know, it's CrossFit, everyone's natural, we just train hard all the time. Get the fuck out of here. They're taking shit like everyone else. It's a sport when there's hundreds of thousands of dollars on the line and, and um, sponsorships, people juice. You don't have to, taking juice doesn't get you huge. There's many different kinds that get you strong without getting big. All right, one or two more questions. Yeah, straight shit, it's, so, it's just so easy, uh, simple. It's so simple. Let's see. Bow, bow, bow. Currently cutting. I'm trying to stay below 2,000 calories a day while lifting and running. Oof. You might be eating too little. What's a good appetite suppressant? Benefiber? What the fuck? I wouldn't take any fiber supplements. I'm currently cutting. Trying to stay below? Then stay below. Then don't eat. A good appetite suppressant? Closing your mouth. Keeping your mouth shut. That'll suppress your appetite. And drink more water. Maybe water with a little bit of lemon and some Celtic sea salt can help. The best appetite suppressant is a closed mouth. While lifting and running. I don't know, man. Honestly, you, you're a dude under 2,000 calories a day. I'd be curious as to your height and weight. You might be eating too little. And why are you lifting and running? Are you trying to cut like to get lean? I would stop the running, man. You're not gonna need that on a caloric deficit. Stop that running shit. Cool. I, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't do more than two gallons, fucking A. Yes, veggies. Veggies are good. 6'3", 220, under 2,000 calories a day, bro. You're, I think you're, you're getting, and you're lifting, I think I don't think you're getting enough calories, son. I think you're gonna lose a lot of muscle mass. Just guessing, you know, six three two twenty under two thousand calories. You're you're you're. I think you're under eating. Yeah, I think you're under eating big time, especially if you're eating and lifting. It's shadow boxing, sure. You know, a general warm up is just anything that gets your heart rate up. The specific warm up is specific to like what your task is like what body parts you're doing like what you're doing for training i don't eat too much i have a big stomach what can i do start lifting weights and start training and start eating right you don't eat too much see questions like that it's so general auto like how, how can i how can i answer that i don't eat too much and i have a big stomach what can i do Start sleeping better, start drinking more, start lifting weights, start eating clean, eat a lot of vegetables, eat good proteins, like start being fit. You gotta start moving. What can you do? Everything. You just gotta start doing stuff. Start being more active. Start paying attention to the foods you're putting in your mouth. All right, fam. Good stuff, though. Good stuff. Just make sure everyone takes this for what's worth. It's simple. You just have to start. You just gotta start. So thank you so much for joining me for this nice, relaxing Sunday. Chill as F. Uh, looking forward to this week, looking forward to this week. So just a reminder, just to recap, those of you that are in premium, premium workshop on the shoulder on Thursday. Tomorrow, accountability meeting on at one o'clock for premium as well. Huge announcements coming for this one enormous brand, but I'll announce that soon. I'll probably announce, I'll announce in premium first, but um, I'll let everyone know as soon as I, I can. Uh, other announcements that you'll be seeing, just follow like the emails. If you're on the email list, if you've downloaded the ebook, you've gotten the emails that the 90 day dash program, the special offer, uh, the special introductory offer is ending. Um, we've been a few months into the release of the program. So that special offer is ending. So it's you can still check it out, program.swanormous.com. Um, 
for the 90 day dash program, but that is ending the date. I think it might be the 17th or the 19th of this month. So if you still want to jump on this amazing offer, which you may not ever see again, uh, because it's the introductory offer, make sure you check that out. So the big announcement, you're getting a Harley. No, I'm not gonna get that until I have a garage and all that stuff. I'll rent them though. I'll rent them though. I think owning things is just a waste. I can always rent it and drive it whenever I want. But I wanna have like a garage where I can have it. I don't wanna keep it outside or anything. That's a, that's a shame, that's an insult. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, some big announcements. So remember everyone, follow me over on Instagram. Maybe I'll pop on there right now after this. I don't know, we already just did, kind of did a QA. and a But make sure you follow me on Instagram, at Swolenormous. Uh, you can check me out there also because I just did a caption contest, it'll be fun. And everyone else have a great Sunday. I'll see you all tomorrow, same time, same place. Peace, McGee's, Deuce McGoose, 457. Keeping it casual, enjoy your workouts. Type below, comment below what you're training today, if you're getting a pump on. I might have amped myself up to get a pump. We'll see. We'll see. Peace out.